COVID-19, I predicted it. The army will be on the streets in Atlantic Canada. Um, this just came out today. Uh, CBC, I'll put the link in. There's an article. CBC.ca, I predicted this, what, two, three more weeks ago when this first broke out, a week or so after it broke out. I seen the writing on the wall, the way they were handling things. Um, I'm speaking up here in Canada, and I knew for a fact the army would be on the streets, and um, it was just inevitable. Um, they were going to be on the streets, and that's what they have. They have 2,000 troops for Atlanta, Canada on standby, um, and they even have um, the armed forces and Navy, if need be. And yet they're saying this is for flooding purposes, for floods, emergencies, like in New Brunswick last year. And yet they need the Navy and the Air Force. And yet in the same article, and they have a link that um, the military that is supposed to be helping us with floods and whatnot is actually um, now enforcing um, travel bans. So, I mean, I mean, um, there the, um, no continuity a contradiction right within the article of what actually is being um, quoted from um, our government. Um, so there's no continuity coming from our government, no um, internal consistency in their stories. The army on the streets is not good, obviously. I never thought I'd see this day, uh, but it's not good. Um, it's, it's not good, but it's destroying and it's taken away trying to our Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which came in incidentally by Pierre Trudeau, Justin Trudeau's father, put that in in 1982, amended it to the BNA Act, the British North America Act, which is our constitution from 1867. Um, and in Section 91 of the BNA Act, you can read online, is federal rights, the federal government rights. Then there's Section 92, provincial rights. But, but what I'm speaking about, and I'll put the link in there, it's a half a page. People should be reading this. They're not allowed to arbitrarily, section 6 through 10 especially, they're not, this is the section you need to check out. They're not allowed to arbitrarily police, are not allowed to do this anyone. The police, the government, anyone working for the government in that capacity, are not allowed to arbitrarily stop people on the streets. That's why drunk stops are illegal. That's why a few years ago a local lawyer here at Patterson Got a guy off who blew over in the drunk stop because it's unconstitutional. It goes against the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Yeah, a, a lawyer around here actually um, uh, brought up a, brought that up. Unbelievable. Amazing. And so this is what it's coming to. Um, and so, um, you know, uh, and I and I, I predicted this a, a few weeks ago when when this all started, this whole pandemic, they're going to be policing us very soon. I never thought I would see it in my lifetime. So I'll put the link to that video. It's only a few minute video about like, hey, this is what this is where we're heading headed. If we, you know, if people aren't aware of our rights and freedoms under the Charter of Rights and Freedoms Act or Freedoms of 1982, we're doomed. Um, the more people that wake up, uh, the better. Um, but this is no different than, this is way, well, it is different. It's more um, intensified than Bill C-251 a few years ago than the Anti-Terrorism Act of 2004 that Harper took in after the Patriot Act II under Obama. So um, this is some serious, serious stuff. Um, and it is... Um, it's just uh, mind blowing um, to see that this is what it's coming to here in Atlanta, Canada. Um, the armed forces, the troops, the military will be policing its own people in violation of section six through 10. Just like the cops do, they pull you over for any reason without your tail light on or even walking down the street as a pedestrian. I got my uncle off twice, twice. And he would brag to people because I would quote, um, section 7 or 8, I forget which section, that you cannot arbitrarily or detain anyone, arbitrarily, for no reason. I could be walking down the street, 
They cannot stop me for no reason. They cannot do it. They have to have a reason, probable cause, you could say. Same if you're driving. That's why drunk stops are illegal. Um, but, yeah, that's that. I'll put the link into my first video where I said this is going to happen. And I'm in uh, Nova Scotia, New Glasgow, Nova Scotia, Pictou County, Nova Scotia. I said this is going to happen. I didn't think it would happen this quickly. Um, and uh, I'll put the news article in as well, in the link as well. It's time for uh, Canadians to start waking up to uh, what's going on when the government's trying to, when the government tries to give you help in hand, you know something's up. And, uh, <laughs> yeah.